Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for a look at the new Revit Sand Urban Jacket. So this is part of Revit's Urban Collections Spring Summer 2017 lineup. And what they've done is taken one of the best sellers from the adventure side of their collection called the Sand Jacket and catered it more to the needs of the urban adventurer as they see it which is something that I think I fall into in terms of category wise. I like to get out and explore and have a jacket that can just go anywhere and do anything. But I wanna keep a bit of style to it and I think this jacket has everything in one. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna remember all the features for this jacket, there are simply so many. This jacket though, even with everything fully loaded, like it is here, fully armored up, all layered up, it's still really nicely tailored, it's not heavy at all, and it looks fantastic. So the outer is a polycotton twill fabric, which is a nice high grade material. It has a slightly kind of waxed look to it, giving it water repellency on the outer layer, and it gives it that kind of slightly classic look, combined obviously with more modern features that are fairly self-evident elsewhere through the jacket. But what's really interesting is this jacket is essentially three layers going on. So you have that outer layer, then beneath that you have a removable Hydrotex membrane, which is a jacket in its own right. So that can be zipped out and detached. The Hydrotex membrane is Revit's in-house version of Gore-Tex, for those who know what that is. It's a waterproof, breathable membrane, and usually it's seam sealed and just sewed into the outer layer of their jackets that are waterproof. But that means with any extra layers you put in, even if they're highly breathable, they're still gonna be less breathable than not having an extra layer, of course. So if you're riding somewhere really hot, and you know it's not gonna rain, you're in a desert, somewhere like that, but you need something rugged to keep you safe, there simply is no need for that extra layer. So the option to remove it is a really good thing and it's gonna keep you way cooler. And when you think about, which we will go into in more details, when you think about all of the vents that there are through this jacket, it would be pointless to have something beneath that essentially blocking the wind from getting through to you. So that's really well thought through. Of course that jacket can actually be worn in its own right and you could put it over something if you get caught in the rain or if you have another leather jacket, say, that's not waterproof, you can team it up with that and it has a nice high-vis reflective element to it. The very bottom layer is the thermal layer and that is easily detachable and fairly standard through their range. But that means, of course, you can use this in really cold weather as well. So here we have something usable in hot weather, cold weather, wet weather and dry weather. So it tackles everything. It's got extra panels of this kind of more rugged, abrasion resistant, called Dura-like fabric on the shoulders and elbows. The jacket comes fitted as well with Revit's market leading armor, which is C approved in the elbows and shoulders. An optional pocket to upgrade with the back protection as well. And as with most of their jackets nowadays, you've also got the zip across the back near the bottom where you can make a two piece by using any of the compatible Revit trousers from their range, or you can get the Revit Safeway belt, which has a zipper on it, which basically means you can wear any set of jeans and create a two piece by zipping them to the jacket, which is a really nice feature. There is adjustability everywhere through this jacket. So we'll kind of go to that as we go through the different bits. As we start up at the top, you have fairly subtle branding I suppose. You've got Revit on things like the snaps and on the zips which you usually get and you've got the logo which has a reflective element to it on the sleeve. I really like the Revit logo, I think it's really stylish. As you go around the back there's not too much going on there, it's nice and simple but you do have another Revit logo there. You've got a zip across here which is another place of ventilation and down the lower part on the back you have a pocket which you tend to get on adventure jackets, which is again, just useful for storage, things you need easy access to, but it's really nice and profile. So if you're not using it, it's not some horrible puffy pocket. It stays streamlined. As you go back round, you're gonna notice that you've got these really nicely pre-curved sleeves that gives an ergonomic comfortable fit on the bike so you don't fight the jacket when you wanna get into position. And I suppose keeping with the ventilation. So you have this really long vent that goes all the way down the forearm and that gets slightly interrupted by this adjustable strap which we'll come to in a second and that opens up nicely giving you through the Coolmax liner which is in here as well that's a moisture wicking liner that helps keep you comfortable uh, but also just helps wick away that moisture on hotter days so the air can go straight through to the arm in a really really high capacity the zips with Revit are always really durable so it doesn't matter how much you're going to be fiddling with them and using them they will take it all day long the strap that we have here, that's just an adjustability strap, so you can tailor this in more. And that's another really clever and really useful feature with a jacket like this that has so many layers going on because there will be some difference, of course, if you were taking out inner jackets, there's gonna be excess room. You still want that tailored fit, so you've got your options there. A two on the side, as you can see, one on the top of the forearm, uh, which has a couple of different snappers, so you can adjust that in. There's actually three different ones, so you can choose however tight you want that to be. On the cuff, you have a Velcro piece as well, as well as the snapper there overlaying the zip. 
and you've got this piece on the arm that's quite prominent and I think looks really nice in terms of styling, making it look a little bit more edgy and modern. And also what I really love is you've got this really soft leather piping around the cuff and collar. That's such a nice feature and it's a really lovely colour offsetting this kind of olive. Uh, we've said in our description on the website, almost verging on brown. Uh, it's sometimes difficult to specify exactly what tone of green it is, but it's a really nice, slightly muted down colour and this khaki kind of colour. And the other thing is that most of these zippers on the front, as you see here, they've also got this waterproofing element to the side of them. And that just looks really smart as well. But these are vents rather than storage. So you've got these massive front vents either side, which as you can see there with the mesh fabric underneath it, loads of air is gonna get through there. So although this is a robust, protective, abrasion resistant, impact resistant jacket, you will not need to worry about keeping cool on hotter days. On the front, the two lower storage pockets, you've got spring-loaded snaps either side with the rubber on the top. That's a great idea again to prevent you scratching your tank. Inside, you've got a nice waterproof liner as well to those pockets, so you don't have to worry if you're storing stuff there. And that's an overlay flap, so there's no chance of the water getting in there. And on the sides of those pockets, you actually have another popper there, which is a good way to just pop your hands in when you're walking along, or if you're cold, of course. So that's really nicely thought through. There are drawstring adjustments at the waist as well, so you can tailor that in there. So really, there are bags and bags of features and functionality, and we haven't even opened up the first layer yet. So across the top around the neck piece, you see you have this slightly unusual looking little piece of nylon there. Pop that back, and as you probably guessed already, there's a little hook here, which you can actually just hook that back onto in order to keep the collar open on a hotter day, and therefore, keep the airflow maximal and keep you really comfortable. But of course, on a cold day, that goes right over and seals off the gap. This piping piece as well creates a really nice seal around the top, and that's teamed up with this beautifully soft corduroy inside lining, and that's on the inside of all the layers, whatever configuration on the jacket that you have. So you have this overlay flap on the front, which is a great feature for preventing water from getting through. It's actually doubled up and you've got the Velcro panels there. Really nice, no fuss, so you can get this undone really quickly. Slide your hand down. Zips with Revit, always really high quality. So as you go down that first layer, you can see there, that's the Hydrotex membrane and it has this lovely high-vis fabric to it. And as it stands right now, that is zipped in to the main jacket with these vertical zips running just underneath the main zippers on either side. So if we remove those for a moment, you'll see a little bit more about what is going on. So inside the first layer, there's the Coolmax lining. You have a pocket here, a big square pocket, and that has a Velcro opening for access to it. And you can see a bit more here of that inner jacket. That has an elasticated waistband, which is gonna be nice and comfortable. Again, it's gonna prevent any unwanted air getting in and out. And those poppers, very simple to undo. Again, it's an overlay flap, which is a nice feature, a double overlay flap with a zip underneath, a YKK zip, of course, being Revit. And as you open that up inside, here the thermal jacket attaches to the inside of the Hydrotex jacket. However, it does not end there. You see you've got a zip running on this side and that is mirrored on the other side. That's to attach the thermal liner to the inside of the Hydrotex jacket on the middle, you can simply zip that out, take off the popper, and if you were to take the Hydrotex ja jacket out, which is less likely, I suppose, that you would want to not have the thermal element if you needed the rain element, but even so, you've got the option. You simply take out the middle jacket, and as you can see here, you have this zipper running down either side on the main body of the jacket, so you can attach the thermal lining to that, bypassing the need for the middle jacket altogether you have so much versatility. On the inside of the Hydrotex jacket, you've got the same kind of pocket that you get on the inside of the main jacket. And similarly, you have more or less the same kind of pocket on the inside of the thermal liner. So however you are riding, whatever your needs may be, I cannot possibly think of anything this jacket does not offer you as standard. There's options for using Revit's cool vests that they offer as well if you're going somewhere ridiculously hot. There are lots of other things that you can accessorize with, but as far as standard jackets go, this is not dirt cheap. There are lots of textile jackets all screaming for attention in the motorcycle market, but I can't think of any that would do everything as stylishly and as accomplished as this sand urban jacket, which is now in stock. Here we have it in the green. It's also available in the black. And this is a size medium. 
On the 39 inch chest, that should make me a medium and it fits me spot on. So Revit, as usual, got the sizing correct. Any further questions on that point, there's more on the product info page at urbanradio.co.uk. And if you have any comments, feedback, anything at all, we always really love hearing from you guys. Please leave that in the section below and stay tuned because Revit particularly have so much great stuff coming out for this season. There are loads of other great things coming from our other brands too. So stay tuned, we'll see you then. Goodbye.